Gabby Hanna is back, and she's still just as crazy as she was when she left. She's got a new video out called A Year Without Social Media. And the very first thing here is to steam, stream slash download my new single, Where Did I Go? I'm assuming she's broke, and she's back <laughs> to ask for money. <laughs> she's taking a year off, and now she's like, hmm, you know, time for my comeback. I really hope that this coffee table can hold my weight. Sitting on the coffee table? Girl, I'm not that brave. Try to work on your tiny. Who was that? Tiny. Hi, tiny. Hello. Just a quick pause as she just started talking. I'm just, I, don't know, I was just sitting here trying to absorb that. What is on her? Is that a tattoo? I don't know. Anyway, she's sitting on her coffee table worrying that's going to fall through. Uh, we're <laughs> almost a minute. Uh, we're 37 seconds of the video. She's finally started talking, and we had a lot of zoom ins to her cat. So already a banger of a video. I'm, I'm invested. I'm ready. And she doesn't know if she should have came back or not. But you know what? She's got all the merch shout outs right at the beginning, so I'm glad she did because she's got to make that dollar. That cell phone yeah, mic, though. Being yeah. <laughs> yeah you got, I mean, you got good quality. You know, you don't have to get the, the, the clip lavalier or like a microphone like this. You just get your cell phone. Bye. You're obviously somebody who consumes YouTube content. Hi. Thanks for being here. Make sure to like and subscribe. TikTok or Instagram or Twitter, which is, by the way, the dark web now. When did Twitter become the dark web? Dude. All right. So the last time we saw Gabby Hanna, yeah, she's here talking about the dark web. Uh, the last time I saw her, she let a stranger into her house Wait. who was making TikToks the whole time. And then she like, someone called her. She freaked out and kicked him out. Oh, that but was they were this just, chick. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That this person right here that like came into her house. Yeah. Wow. And they hung out. Yeah. You know, yeah. that was two years ago. Really? It's been that long? She stick around for another year before she left. Okay. But my favorite part, just at the beginning of this, before we even get into it, is just imagine, imagine, Dane, imagine your job being social media, like TikTok, YouTube. Yeah, you know, she makes songs and stuff like that. Yeah. Imagine being in a position to where you can just not do that for an entire year and then come back and tell people how great it was. <laughs> imagine just not doing your job for a year and be like, it's so great. Wow. <laughs> That's you guys should try this. Privilege beyond privilege. I, I need that. I need that in my life, kid. I need <laughs> For about a quarter of this journey, maybe a third of this journey, I wasn't even consuming any type of content on screens. I wasn't watching anything, not TV shows, not movies, nothing. So for like a third of it, she didn't even watch TV. So brave. Wow. That's <laughs> so brave. I imagine that third of it she did, though, and then still telling everybody she's just unplugged. <laughs> yeah. She missed out on some shows. That's true. Actually, we've we've uh, we've unsubscribed from a lot of our stuff, like Netflix and Disney Plus and all that. I've turned we've turned them off because there's like there's not anything that I actually want to watch on there. And so I was like, why am I going to pay these increasing prices for something I'm not even watching? Yeah, you got to be watching and if, to make it worth and if you're not. Might as well turn it off. <laughs> really? <laughs> you know, I am, I am a privileged person. I got the money, of course, but uh, I don't want to spend the money. And so what I'm going to invest in is a bunch of hard drives. And uh, yeah, we'll just kind of be watching those shows anyway. Uh, <laughs> no, no, alleged, no, just play it. I would never do wow. that, FBI. I would never, ever do that. All right? I know that's serious business. I, I understand. Cop. I wouldn't. I, I, I'm just playing. I wouldn't some quick plugs so please go stream that song watch the little visual that i made and i actually have merch coming out man she's got it all man she's got she's made new music she's got the merch did she write a book too did she i think she wrote a book wow i think she wrote a book wow yeah hang on what was the gabby hannah book I'm pretty sure it was awful <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah yeah i remember this okay i saw this on tiktok a lot people were reading her book and just like <laughs> her poems. All her poems. Yeah. Also, I guess I should say this at this point. If you're tuning in the video, you don't even know who, you don't know anything much about Gabby Hanna or if you're a Gabby Hanna fan and like we're just being big haters right now. Uh, it's true. We are being big haters right now. Uh, Gabby Hanna is a person who makes me think of someone who just took too many drugs and kind of lost themselves along the way. That's who, that's what she, her, the way she acts screams to me. Like someone who just got on like too much LSD. Yeah. Or just something and kind of just got jumbled up because here, the way she's speaking so far, she seems fairly normal. Uh, but before 
Mm -mm. But this is also, you know, what she's choosing to show us too. You know what I mean? Just a small right. segment. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I'm kind of watching this as the glass half empty so far. I'm just like, you know, why, why after a year, why are you back? What, what, what is it? What are you doing? You're plugging everything under the sun right now. So like, what's, are you just back to, to promote your song? Excited to announce that it's coming out through my own design company, Look Design Company. Oh, and she's launching her own company. Oh, okay. Wow. Really, really excited to be back on Patreon. I love Patreon. Her Patreon is back too, man. Wow. God dang. Does she have a does she have a cameo as well? I swear, does she have a cameo? Hang on. I am trying cameo. I've gotten a lot of <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Who is joking? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's on hard time. She's on cameo. She's doing Patreon. She's doing all of it. She's taking that year off and she's looking at her. <laughs> she's looking at her funds going. Hmm. <laughs> it's time. It's time for the full, the full sellout comeback quest for it. And I realized that so often when I go out and people stop me, they're like, can I get a video for my sister, for my friend? A lot of people just want videos of me saying hello. So I figured I would offer that as a service for people who want it. So I'm just going to see. I love that. <laughs> I love that comparison. So whenever I go out and people notice me, my fans, you know, they want to, they want me to like take a video or a picture or something. And I figured I could just sell it. <laughs> <laughs> I can sell that to them. Nice. Genius. <laughs> I just rambled for so long. But All right. That was, we're four minutes in this video and she's still, she's still music. shouting all her a stuff. Lot more music coming. And yeah, she's still going through it all. Five minutes in finally to the video. You know, actually what did the, oh, disabled by, oh, she disabled the dislikes no, and the likes. No, she didn't. Really? How about the comments? What the comments say? Uh, we got the pinned one. Uh, 200. And, uh, if you'll notice, Dane, there's a severe lack of upvoted comments here. There's one with 15. She's broke the end. Uh -huh. right. Oh, no. Yeah. So so far, I mean, like just going through the comment section, it's, it's not. It, it's a mix of positive and negative. Like the ones that are upvoted are... <laughs> All right, yeah, like this one, like 36 that votes too soon. Your horrible behavior is still fresh in our mind. <laughs> uh, the, the, the one right above it, 20, like no hate, but genuinely, Hannah, you were so self-obsessed and out of touch. <laughs> Like the the yeah like the 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 those negative comments are definitely getting uh, deleted and get voted enough. But yeah. the video so far screams that I need money. Five minutes into actually what she's trying to say, I could not get online without seeing a new rumor, a new story. It just wasn't fun to be online anymore. Like online was my safe space. Whose whose safe space is online? I don't I don't know. That's, that that's, mm. that's that's uh, <laughs> wow that's yikes. <laughs> That's a big one. Yeah. Uh, she, so she was tired of the drama that she, she was creating a lot of. Got you. Okay. But all of a sudden, my comment section were just filled with so much vitriol that it was just like, why am I even here? I actually... Well, not this time. In this comment section, you know, you're taking care of it a little bit, so it's not that bad. <laughs> yeah. I actually tried to take a step back so many times before this big recent break, but I always had some type of contractual obligation that I needed to be there for. It was either a book deal that I was obligated to promote through a certain number of videos. So this whole part, she's complete. She's talking about why she couldn't leave social media because she had contractual obligations. She got paid a lot of money up front. And so she couldn't leave yet. <laughs> she, wow. got, she got paid. Uh, it's like, I got, I got ads running. I got, I got deals. I got, I got to promote, I got promotional things. Yeah. I, I understand you, you, you made bank. I got yeah. You. you were doing it. Besides that, I never wanted to feel like I was letting people win. I don't let other people's opinions or actions dictate mine. Wasn't all of, like, didn't she just say that, you know, she got tired of it all because every time she logged in, there'd be someone saying something about her. <laughs> mm -hmm. so, she, so she took the time off. She did let it affect her. I, I don't know what you're talking no, about. No, no, that was, that, no. No, no. How dare you, Dane? How dare you? I didn't even have the energy to properly promote my projects anyway. I literally would wake up one day and realize that a song had come out the day before, and I didn't even realize it. So I didn't tell anybody about it because I forgot. So once my final pro She's talking about the music she's worked on for years that they would come out and she wouldn't even know it came out. But what was she smoking? Jesus yeah, Christ. No kidding, dude. That, 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 that's not just, I was so stressed. That was, that's just like complete disconnect. <laughs> I woke up on Mars. <laughs> like, Bro, what? what? My, my video, my music came out that I've been working on for so long that I'm super excited about to tell everyone about. No. <laughs> Whoa, bro. Whoa, dude. This time next year, my album that 
came out over a year ago, I was finally free. I didn't have any more looming projects that were kind of like nagging at me. I felt like I could actually step away without wondering. There's a lot underneath what she's saying. I'm not trying to put words in her mouth, but she talks about how like her, her last thing came out and she didn't have any more looming projects. At the part where there was like so much controversy around her and all this crazy stuff was happening that no one would sign her for anything. Oh, she was finally yeah. free. Yeah, you're right. I th I <laughs> that's what, that's yeah. what I hear. Maybe that's not the case, but I imagine that it was probably pretty tough to get like to sell the ads and get the deals when uh, like literally everything that came out about her was just like Gabby <laughs> Hanna's losing it again. It got so bad she had no choice but to take a break. Really, it, it got to the point to where the best thing for her was to just disappear for a while and like. I guess make her comeback, but the comeback she should have made should just been like the music videos and like some positive message instead of like a super shout out to give me money, you know. But for the last decade, I've been absolutely drowning in work. It's like that cliche of you know you work so hard for the American dream and then you work so hard that you never stop to enjoy it. And like I said, it's was absolutely incredible. It's a blessing that I would not trade for the world. But I haven't had time to just simply create to create literally since I started YouTube. Everything I did. So she's complaining about how hard her job is now, okay? Right. It's always a tough one to sell to the community, the crowd, because when you look at people like like us or even her, that we got the dream job, right? And we do. Uh, and it, there is there is truth to what she's saying, like not being able to disconnect. Like my YouTube channel, you know, is, is my life. Like I, I'm plugged into it pretty much all the time. If I go on social media, I'm not on my personal account. I'm representing my brand at all times. Right. And it, do, it does get, it gets tiresome, but we also get paid a lot of money. So it's like, whatever it is. It's, it's like an actor being like, Oh God, acting is so hard. It's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Go get a real job. Then. No, <laughs> yeah. no, whoa, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not, not, not whoa. that hard now. Come on, man. Whoa, not that hard. guys. You don't understand. I've, I've been working so hard and making so much money that I can't just create to create, you know? Oh God, feel bad for me. People can't pay rent that are, that are watching this, you know, shut up. I'll never shy away from true constructive criticism, even if it's harsh, because I want to know. So yeah, I was just just like really super <laughs> you want to know I mean the like comment section says begs to differ yeah. <laughs> okay. that's not constructive though I mean <laughs> yeah. I guess that's it. I the beholder with that it's like is this constructive not to me I don't like it the like if I was going to give construct constructive advice and criticism uh youtubers like this that like have to monetize everything they do like if they want to learn how to do anything they have to make a video about it or they have to like sell something or they they feel like they have to do all this stuff like they're just like this working machine that's just oh my god i'm a superstar yeah. don't take yourself so freaking seriously <laughs> you're, a, you, you're a youtuber chill out like you you can't do all you can you have so much time to do whatever you want because you literally like make you sit down, you record a video, you probably have an editor, you hand it off to them. You got plenty of time to do whatever you want to do. You're just taking yourself way too seriously. Yeah. And that's it's like a lot of I, I call it like the, the L.A. YouTubers. I don't know where she, if she's in L.A. or not, but I figure like she probably is. Actually, let me look, let me just, let me look real quick. Oh, yeah, this says, yeah, Gabby's in a house in Los Angeles. Okay, if, if that's where she still lives or not. But yeah, that's that, 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 this is a pretty common thing. Like, because I'm we moved to LA, uh, me and Mary did. And I ran into this a lot when I met other creators. And it was just like, like bro, it's not that serious. I, I understand you want to take yourself very seriously, but it's it's cringe level taking yourself serious. Like, you, you are a YouTuber. You don't actually have that much talent. You just have a fan base that tells you that you do, and so you do this stuff thinking it's going to be that good, but when you compare it to actual professionals in the field, it's trash, and you should stop taking yourself so seriously. Ooh. But it, anyway, that's, 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 a, that's a whole different soapbox. It's, 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 a, yeah, it's a whole category, and it, I hate it. I got kind of famous and kind of rich at 23 years old, so I never had a reason. From 23 years old, I was being really heavily rewarded for minimal work and frankly, poor behavior. So anyway, that last album comes out. Don't gloss over that. She she, she said something very important right there, being very wealthy and getting rewarded for poor behavior. Mm -hmm. Yes, Gosh. content creation, being being awarded for poor behavior, super common. I was gonna say- Super it, common. Like, yeah, that's the world we live in, period, right now. That's crazy. So I told myself, one year, just commit to a year. Give yourself this year to figure out who you are as yourself. Take the option off the table. So again, I'm not trying to put words into her mouth, but like just, I feel like that I can connect <laughs> on a certain level with her. And uh, I, it's so ego driven. Like, it's like, it's like I couldn't go without a week without being on my social media and, and looking, even though I didn't have anything going on. 
it's like because the the ego she has to look and like see what's going on like what she can be involved in or like what the, what people are saying about her and then like after taking a year off she's got to tell everyone and brag about how she took a year off oh yeah right oh yeah from a content creator perspective it like i it just seems like she's taking herself way too seriously and she just needs to chill and just enjoy herself really and now that it's gone it leaves this big empty space that you don't know how to fill or what to fill it with i feel like i had no purpose like i literally didn't exist i had nowhere to be there were days even weeks at a time where i was literally literally physically not seen by anybody so this is actually a pretty cool thing she's talking about here she's talking about them uh from the internet and how it had left this big void and it's something we've talked about before too to where like back in the day when we were young how we could just be bored and it was okay yeah we'd like okay well i guess i'll go outside or go maybe i can go to a maybe my mom will take me to a friend's house maybe we'll like you go to the mall and walk around you know you just <clears> find <throat> other things to do and like your social circles were very small and now it's completely different because you have your you know you get your phone you can just be like all right i have a window to every form of entertainment you know yeah. that i want to watch like a window to the world and i can get in these little social things and it, yeah it's got to be i think it's very i'm not one of the people that are like social media is ruining the world but i do think it uh it is unhealthy to a certain point to where people get too invested into it and they get too attached to where like you feel like you have to be there and you have to look at it uh and if you don't have it like you almost have like withdrawal symptoms you know not not quite but you know you you feel the the pull, you feel the tug in the like the back of your head. And I hope, you know, I hope I can get to the, where she is one day to where I just retire for good. And then, and, and I just, I go live on the farm and, you know, you never hear from me again. <laughs> you know, that, that's, that, that, that's the, that's the dream yeah. is just to be able to really enjoy life. Cause it, 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 it kind of takes over, like, instead of finding new hobbies or new things to do because you have time, instead you pick up your phone and you look at it and then you wonder why you don't have any time to do anything. Right. Exactly. And you spend so much, so much time on that device or just looking over these social media accounts, uh, whether it's on your computer or on your phone, dude, you don't ever realize how much time you actually spend just literally looking at that. There's something, like you said, there's something about when we were kids being able to go outside, you know, and use your imagination. I used to, I, yeah. <laughs> I was, I was in a lot of little, little action movies. And when I was a kid, you know what I'm saying? I was I was always beating up the bad guys, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, you got that stick out in the yard, you found a good stick, yeah, it's a good day. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> man, you know what I mean? Like, uh, unplugging, I don't know, it feels, there's something comforting about it. Yeah, there is to me, too, like, because I, like, I feel like we're, like, being like, yeah, social media is the devil. It's not, it's, it's kind of, it's, there's a lot of good things about it. It's just in excess. It's like everything in excess can be bad for you. You yeah. could drink so much water that you die, you know? That's that's a real thing, because, like, you, like, you get so diluted. You, you could sleep your life away, like all these good things that you need. You could exercise until like you have major problems, yep. you know. So yep. everything in moderation is really the key. But um, obviously, she is an uh, influencer, so like she's like like me. Her what she does reflects even in her personal things. So she's like she is attached to it, just much like I am to mine. Like if my numbers are bad, it makes me feel bad, even though they're just numbers, and I can affect them by just making good videos right and we're probably summarizing a lot of what she's going to say but still it's just it's, i think it's a good thing that people do limit screen time but having to go as far as just completely putting it down because you're in such a bad space is very telling in my opinion of like kind of just where she was before human beings created in god's image the ultimate creator we're meant to create but we're not necessarily meant to profit off of it my mental health skyrocketed did she just say that we're not meant to profit off our art, even though the whole beginning is a big plug. <laughs> it's just one big plug. Yeah, of, of the <laughs> art that she's put on t-shirts, her art that is music. Uh, oh gosh, I'm telling you, I, she she definitely reminds me of like the stoners that I've talked to in my life. Even like the the way she like uses her hands to speak. Yep. It's, I started having like thoughts, clear thoughts, and if she just threw like a bro in there, I'd be like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah. All right. So yeah, she shouldn't, you, we shouldn't make money off her art, right? Because something, she threw some God in there, but also check out her art and pay for it. <laughs> right. Hey, but help me out, man. You know, Patreon. I started sleeping better. My diet got better. I was able to use a lot of the time that I was on my phone to stretch and massage myself. My skin cleared up. I started giving my cats a lot more long focused attention that they deserve. I was spending literally hours of the day, almost every day, just 
being. Wealthy YouTuber learns what it means to be a human being. Wow. <laughs> That should be the title, kid. That should be the title. It's like it's like we went through when we talked about like you know letting yourself be bored and all that stuff, and that's kind of what she's talking about. But at the same time, it's like so there's like a disconnect that she has that it's just half the stuff she's saying is like normal everyday thing for people, but then she also sprinkles in some of the stuff we was talking about too, and it's like yeah, you <laughs> stretched. Good for you. <laughs> you couldn't do that before? <laughs> yeah, okay. Right. She was so busy. She had to monetize her stretching, you know? It just wasn't good. <laughs> yeah, she, had to, she, couldn't, she had to show everybody. She had to practice. <laughs> so a few months in, I need to, like, reach out to someone online through a DM. So I re-downloaded the apps. And I'm like, okay, now that I've downloaded these apps... You know, it's been a few months. Maybe I can consume a little bit of media here. Wait, what? I thought she would go. It's, it's a few months in? Is what she, happened to the year? <laughs> well, she just said she needed to DM somebody, so she downloaded the apps, plural. Right. I had to go download <laughs> all of them. Yeah, let me, let me message just one person and download all these apps a couple <laughs> months in. All right, all right. All my other bad habits instantly rush back in. My sleep schedule is bad. My diet is bad. My skincare is worse, so I'm breaking out. I'm restless. I'm sleepless. Anxiety and depression come rushing back in. I don't like, dude, she had to spend like every waking moment. I, I look at my phone a lot, but I don't have breakouts because I'm looking at it so much. I'm still washing my face, you know. <laughs> I'm in physical pain. I feel empty. and Physical I pain? You good. Get off the it. phone, bro. Put it down. <laughs> Holy crap. And I realized... That's a God-shaped hole that I'm trying to fill. So uh, a lot of what she's saying too, I don't know how much we skipped through it, but a lot of it she's she's pretty much trying to preach to people and being like, what I needed instead of uh, my phone and social media was, was God. I needed religion to fill it up. Even religion has a limit of how much of it you you really need. And I, I know people are like, oh, clutching your pearls, but it's true. I mean, it, yeah, be like you already said, too much of anything is bad, right? So, I don't know. You got to throw in. You can't just be one thing is the fix all. You know, you got to you gotta do things for yourself. And Yeah, well, when it, when it comes, I'll, I'll say a little bit more about the religion because I'm sure I'm, uh, people are like, what do you mean by that, Ken? I mean, like, the point that she is talking about, she seems like, obsessed with her social media to the point that she's, like, having physical ailments. That she feels that with religion then a lot of like the dogmatism and like it, it, you almost become like a cult member because when you when you dive that hard into it then it like really seeps like really gets into your life to where like you become like Alabama to where they voted against the <laughs> because you know people getting being able to have babies that couldn't have babies you know you get you get too far and you get too lost in the sauce anyway there's a limit and it it starts affecting other people's lives negatively when you go too far into it. When you get off, when you silence all these voices, you start hearing God's voice. You start talking to yourself and then <sighs> I don't know if it's schizophrenia con uh, covered up by religion or not, Dane. I don't know. But it could be God. I mean, yeah. She could be the next. She, she's the prophet Gabby Hanna who speaks directly to him. <laughs> he is prophes prophecies flow through her. I feel like she's about to tell me I'm going to hell, though. I don't know. It's getting real close. <laughs> yeah. You know, when she found Jesus, man. I just hope that means she stopped with all the psychedelics and all that other stuff, right? <laughs> That's how she found him, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he was around the other side of that mushroom over there. <laughs> downloading the apps. Deleting the apps. Downloading them deleting them social media is not evil social media is a tool that can be used for good and all right now she's talking about the good of social media so throughout the year she downloaded them and got rid of them and download them and get rid of them so it's not really a year without social media it's just a year of her sort of kind of doing it less download them and <laughs> download them and you know yeah i i took several weeks off multiple times throughout the year is basically what this title should be and literally like we're literally listening to on the airwaves and we're so desensitized to Jesus, she keeps going these rants, dude. <laughs> She'll talk for a while and then she'll be like, and music, they're talking about murder. We are so desensitized. Let me tell you guys about Jesus. I'm just like, okay, all right, <laughs> Gabby, what have you what have you been doing for a year? Tell me. And when you get back to who you are as a human being, you wake up. And it's a little bit scary because you're waking up from a literal nightmare but anyway when i did literal nightmare you say social media is not bad but once you get off of it you're waking up for a little night what is she trying to say dane Dude, I, 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 I literally don't I, I i have no idea anymore like it was a year without social media she lied about that now i don't know what this is even about all right <laughs>
it's good, it's bad, but it's not. And then yeah. arts, arts, you should make money off of it, but buy mine. But buy mine. She's, having, she's having this internal struggle this entire time this video. I don't know what she's even trying to say anymore. Social media addiction is going to come to the forefront of culture. And so many people are so absolutely hooked and living for the hit, dying for the hit. Social media is killing people, Dane. Social media <laughs> claims more lives. <laughs> I can't believe they are dying from their social media, but it's also a useful tool. Like she, she just keeps going through this cycle of like, it's, it's not, not that so bad good. if you use it correctly, but also it's going to kill you. You know, so. <laughs> but use it to buy all my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a great tool that's helped me so much, but then everyone's dying. You get the worse it gets. You keep chasing that high what is of she, having okay, that she one has, viral moment. We, we're we're almost at the end of this video, and she still hasn't told us what she's been doing for a year. Oh, <laughs> she, she just keeps going on rants about like the concepts of social media and her religion. That's that's it. <laughs> she she disconnected and she felt different, and she started living a normal life. That's pretty much. This could be like a two minute video. And when it doesn't come, when you it's don't fine. get that, you hit. can control it. You can and stop it. Stop whenever whatever. could but you delete fun? your apps right now and be Reed's totally okay with creating clothing, clothing who wants dude geez she just She's goes really through it for so she talks about something and then just Bleh, bleh, bleh. She's worse than we are. <laughs> so if something I'm saying is resonating with you and you feel like you need to delete your apps, God bless you, Godspeed. Go to GabbyHannaOfficial.com and sign up for texts and emails to be alerted. Good wow. freaking lord, dude. Wow. <laughs> I hope I've inspired you uh, to get off social media, but also sign up for my stuff so we can text and email you. <laughs> yeah, but in case it doesn't, uh, here. Dude, if, if Gabby Hannah doesn't have a cult in like 10 years, then uh, I'll make a bet right now, Dane. She, I'm a <laughs> she's trying. She's trying. 100 bucks, Dane, if she has a cult within 10 years, you know. <laughs> 100 <laughs> It's coming. I got this meaningful message and I'm really trying to get it to, but also... <laughs> do all this stuff for me at the same time. I hope I've inspired you. Cult of personality, dude. Holy crap. Wow. So let me tell you just how bad my addiction was. After I moved home, I thought I you were. downloaded some apps to help me kind of. This you is know, the whole thing. She's been I telling me was 40 bad. minutes That's already. The whole video. <laughs> <laughs> what does she mean? Now she's starting to tell us? Went to App Block. I filled out all the information. I blocked the apps. I closed App Block. And then I went to the App Store and downloaded a dating app. That's how serious it was. Just because I don't understand what she she's like. All right, I'm gonna block all my apps. Here we go, set for this one. And I'm feeling kind of frisky, yeah, you know. Yeah, so I'm you know, on Tinder and go, go go get on Tinder. You know, I'm over here talking to Jesus too, by the way. But you know, get on Tinder. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Give me a little premarital in there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I hope I've inspired you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Download my stuff. I'll snort up some social media. You know? <laughs> and then I deleted the app and added it to the block list. You're welcome for the story time video. Link down below. By the way, there's two terrible dates. The link below. You can go check that out too. Shout out to another video of mine. <laughs> Oh I God. really was yeah, thriving. I was having a real good time. So here's why I came back. Because I'm a creator. I'm an artist. I'm an author, musician, songwriter, designer. <sighs> Gosh, she is taking herself too seriously thing, you know? Wow. Like, I can, I, you know, I'm not an author, but I could be if I go, like, hire a ghostwriter and just tell them to write some crappy poems and put in a book. I'm an author all of a sudden, you know? Wow, amazing. <laughs> I'm watching Gabby Hannah. Her video is dumb. It's very condescending and makes other people feel... I'm a, now I'm a songwriter. I wow. did it. The song that sucks. Good. But hey, I did it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I am so great. I came back, guys, because I am the sauce. And you should click on all my links. God. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I kind of, oh, man, I, we came in, I came in as a hater. I was like, ah, you know, what a freaking Gabby Hannah, good Lord. And then in the middle, I kind of felt bad for it. But here at the end, I'm just back on the hate train. I just, just changed the title to I want some money and attention again. I'm back. Yeah. That yeah. is who God made me to be. And he also didn't it's give It's God's me fault. God did this to her. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. And ultimately, I have to be online to do the things that I know God is calling me to do. God is calling you to sell merch? Like, what, what are you talking about? She's got a message to spread, but also g check out her Patreon. Yeah. <laughs> no one really likes to wake up and go to work every day. And this is what it is for me to wake up and go to work every day. And the fact that this is what it is for me to wake up and go to work every day is incredible. This is what- this, Is it bad or good? You're saying both. I, it's, yeah, it sucks, I, I literally but it's don't good. know. In coming back, I'm actually not worried about the hate or criticism or backlash or good. whatever it Let's is. Good. I think like I've that. proven to myself at this point that I can withstand- See if this video gets claimed 
been taken down. You know? <laughs> we'll see, we'll see, we'll see about that. Oh, part two. You cannot stop me. The only one that can stop me is God if he so chooses and he's on my team. Only God can stop me. Oh, <laughs> lordy, 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 Gabby. Now as I'm coming back into this, I'm performing for an audience of one, but anyone else is welcome to stay for the show. And I hope you do. I don't believe any of that. <laughs> I don't believe none of that. I don't know what she just spent 20 minutes to actually say there. It, it literally just check out my merch. Like that's the only thing she really said. Everything else is contradictions and didn't make any sense. Yeah. Social media is okay. awful and God said don't do it and and this is awful like a drug. <laughs> But I'm back on it, boys. Here we go. Here we go. God, God put me here to do this. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, anyway, that's the end of that. I hope you hate that as much as we did. Uh, but yeah, today's your birthday. Happy birthday. Stay with my friends. I love you. See you next time. Bye-bye.